Hello horsey people, we're back with Rival Stars Horse Racing. Today we are focusing on Leonard. Leonard. Leonard is literally the best horse I've ever had in my life. Um, look at these stats, guys. My sprint stat's not great, actually, but I'm still pretty chuffed with him. He's a very good horse. So we actually did Leonard's journey from foal to champion. It was how do I put it? It was great, but painful at the same time. But today, oh, today's a fun day because we're going to be breeding him. Yoohoo! And we're going to just be riding him around the countryside and we're going to have a lovely time with Leonard. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed already, please consider it. If you're a crazy horse person, then you're in the right place. I have been hunting for horse games my entire life. I am nearly 29 years old, guys. I'm old and I have been through the ringer with horse games. So let's find some good ones. 2023, it's the year of horse games. <laughs> I hope it's the year of horse games because, well, we were sort of promised a few good ones last year. 2022, it had uh, horse fails, <coughs> tails, and then it had uh, things like, wait, what are other things that have? I had quite a few horse games, um, and a lot of them flopped. So we weren't uh, we weren't entirely lucky with the horse games. But this year is our year. This year is our year. We are going to be getting some really cool ones like uh, a stride, ranch of river shine, tales of rain ravine, and any others. Have I missed some? Possibly. Possibly. Um, but yeah, so updates from Rival Stars coming and next second like generation thing of Swam. Oh crikey. Oh, that was close. And we just yeah, it's gonna be the year for horse games. 2023 is the year for horse games. So you guys need to subscribe, turn that notification bell on, because you don't wanna miss this crazy journey. And plus, it'd make me feel 100% better if um, I know there's more of you that are actually also crazy horse people. So that's going to be a good thing. Uh, yeah. So today we're just breeding Leonard. Leonard is rocking the roost. Rooster? Rocking the rooster? Is that even a saying? I don't know anymore. But yeah, we're going to do a lot. And Wild Horse Islands. Um, oh, poo. Ah, Lady Andrew, you're talking. Okay, we're going to have to go zoomies, Leonard. I'm not missing out. I literally had like a 10 million bet on this. Oh no, Lady Ranger was talking too much. Story of my life. Oh no. Okay, I've got to redeem myself. Lady Ranger, what are you doing? Oh, I'm annoyed. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's a game. It doesn't matter. That That's what's happening here. But yeah, guys, we have a Rival Stars playlist as well. So if you guys like this sort of content, go ahead. Go check out the playlist. There are nearly 300 videos. Well, I need to go live. Um, oh, Leonard needs a new outfit. Do you know what? Let's get Leonard a new outfit and then we'll go race him in his new stuff. I do want to take him for some cross country as well today. How do I do comes? Oh, wait. How do I do this again? <gasps> it's been so long. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, customization. There we go. So this is actually a different stable block. You sort of can copy the stable blocks. I did do a video on how to do that. Um, so some of them have outfits and some of them don't, but some of them did have outfits in other stable blocks. Does that make sense? Now he's a black speckledy dude. So, uh, I'm thinking like some sort of bright color would suit him. So, um, yeah, festival, oh, no, not Christmas. We can't have a Christmas theme, surely. Tell you what, let's go buy the saddle pad because that clearly makes sense. I do like a red on a black horse, guys. Do you agree? I think red always looks really nice. I also like a pink these days. Never used to like pink and it's definitely growing on me, which is ironic because the colours of the channel are pink and I don't actually like pink normally. I'm a blue sort of person. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with the Balmoral, which actually reminds me of the Queen because I've been watching lots of documentaries lately on the Queen in England. Obviously, I'm from the UK. I am very British, darling. I'm very British. Uh, yeah, I've been watching a lot of docos because of the whole thing that's happening with Harry and Meghan and all that malarkey. Um, and it's really like... Let's have a look. We'll see what he looks like in his outfit. Oh, he looks nice. Do you guys like this one? I like him. But yeah, Balmoral is like the home place of our royals, our royal family in the UK here. If you guys aren't from the UK and fancy a trip, I definitely recommend just stay in London. You can actually get quite an affordable hotel right by Paddington Station. And then you can get the tube everywhere, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know how to use the tube. Is anyone from London here? I'm, I've promised my dad that I'll um, take him to the science um, science museum because he wants to go and look at this 
thing about space and stuff um but i just he keeps asking me he's like when are we going? And I'm like, oh, I need to sort the trains out. Right, Leonard, we're going to... Actually, who... Oh, no, I have a horrible... I have a horrendous feeling. Oh, I think Leonard's mum is Silver Fox. Oh, no, I just inbred. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, I feel terrible. Silver Fox, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's just go with all my custom creations. Uh-oh. We're not going to be doing hundreds of falls today, but we're going to be doing enough. I need... I don't have loads of funds. So we shall see. But yeah, London's beautiful. I do like it there. I like to visit and then I like to come home. Visit. Uh, I'm a country girl. I, I was pretty much brought up in a town like the one from the Hot, Hot Fuzz film. So it's very country bumpkin. That's where I'm from. And it's as good as it. I love where I live, but you do get used to it. Like when I wasn't 100% happy at uni, I actually went to a really nice little, quite small university. I went to, um, should I tell you guys? I went to Chichester Uni, which was wonderful. I loved it. I studied music out there and uh, it was very good, but I just, I wasn't ever really happy. I think I just, I like being at home. I like being around my horses. Um, yeah, it just wasn't for me. I'm not very social. I think that's my problem whoops <laughs> i'm social with the people i like is that terrible um i'm not great in like big groups unless i've had a lot of beverages oh okay we're off oh i get this now i've got to concentrate we're not losing all that bet again and i lost so much money so much money a minute ago but yeah so i went went there and i wasn't happy so i love i love where i live but london it's it's great uh, we normally go every christmas but we didn't go this year uh just because we ended up not having enough time but it is lovely to visit. The Winter Wonderland's amazing, but an absolute rip-off. Uh, it's really expensive. It's something like, isn't it like eight, nine pound a ride? Which I think is really expensive. But having said that, it gets absolutely packed out full. So if you guys haven't been to Winter Wonderland in London, then go for it. It is absolutely brilliant, but just take a lot of money. <laughs> we got like, somehow me and my fiance, we got conned into buying like loads of jam. I don't even know how we did that. It's just loads of jam. Loads of it. But that's how you know, you know you're getting old, right? Because you bought loads of jam. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear. Christmas markets are great, but they're a little bit boring in the UK because it all seems to be the same all over the place. But hey-ho. Oh, here we go. I uh, love to go see a show in London. We love. I love music theatre. I just love music theatre in general. I love, love performing and that kind of thing. I really go. And, I want to go and watch the Harry Potter stage thing i can't remember what it's called it's like a stage show i really want to go and watch that okay i think we need to get over the inbreeding first so let's go for it this is the first fall and unfortunately they're inbred which is not great so here we go it's very nice though it's a nice inbred fall whoops i feel a bit bad okay let's just oh i do like it but guys if you have any name suggestions hit me up hit me up with them because i i'm trying to find my youtube studio right now um i'm terrible with names and quite frankly i think we've had over like a thousand falls on this channel <laughs> so please help me help me with my names because i'm struggling so guys you're the best um let's have a look da, 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 jupiter that's from okay let's let's skip this to matt and i'm gonna call her jupiter which actually really suits her and that is from dogs of mine that's a cool that's a cool name i love this coat pattern it's really pretty it's so pretty guys it's like a it's a spotted bay thing oh a dotted tomiano <laughs> so close so close but yet so fast that's our first fall today and unfortunately they are in bread and that's my bad um rain so spirit and rain are actually going to get their own video for 2023 because yeah we need to do that Woohoo! um let's go a kiddo so eight seven six five four three two one bingo why i said bingo i don't know oh Oh, this always happens. I think it must be rain. Like, it's just the sort of plain bay. And it's always this shade. It's not for a dark bay or like a chestnut. It's always this kind of like plain bay. So I'm going to sell the fall. It's a really... Oh, it had really good stats. Okay, don't look at the stats, guys. <laughs> don't, don't look. Um, Aria is my favorite mare. So let's go for that. Ooh, Aria. <gasps> Ooh, big white face thing. Who doesn't love a big white face thing? 
She kind of needs like a like a spooky name. We could call her. I've got a great name for a spooky horse. Let's skip her to mare. She's a level 10. So that's awesome. I'm going to call her Spooky. Ooh, so original, Lady Ranger. All right, it's a grey. Nice. <gasps> What's your favourite coat colour, guys? What do you what do you go for in a horse? What do you, what do you go for in a horse? Um, I'm a bit partial to grey myself. That's really nice. Let's go, go for a bit more breeding. We'll just keep going. Uh, luckily, we can sell foals from the actual stable from the foal block thing so if we run out of room we do have other options now which is great um i think these guys might be related yes so let's avoid that okay i can uh not spooky your donut uh black rose we could breed with that's not a bad shout um but if there's anything that you guys want to see more of from the channel then let me know i do i don't always record my face sometimes i do sometimes i don't um depends how tired i look <laughs> if i've been out weathered i think that's the word you look weathered i do look weathered sometimes and it's because i'm out with the horses all day um so <laughs> you guys give me i can't handle it so hopefully you guys will come up with some great ideas for the channel and that'd be really helpful we need to breed fussy foghorn Yes, we do. But today is all about Leonard. So let's take Leonard round the cross country. I think he looks really nice in his new outfit. I really like him. I really like him. He's cool. Okay. I don't know why, but the grass was making me a bit cross-eyed then. Yeah, black horses in a red outfit. Definitely the way forward. Flipping love it. Okay, two, one. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Now, Leonard is not a custom creation, which means I actually have a chance of being in the leaderboards, which is great. Uh, because so far I've only ever done cross country with my custom creations, which is is not great. I don't know if it'll jump from this angle. Oh, it will. Oh, great. Uh, so hopefully we might we might be in for a chance because this one actually has like good stats on it and everything. You know, this is a good horse. This is the best race horse I've ever had. So, um, we probably should do a bit more racing and try and redeem myself because he lost because I was being a plonk. Not... Oh! What? What? Okay, I've never done that before. I've literally never, like, literally ran through a fence before. But, man, I'm quick. Oh, look how quick I am. 42. That's actually the quickest time I've ever had myself. So, that's really cool. But he does really look like Robbie. If you guys... I'm going to ride that again because that's annoyed me. Robbie is obviously his dad, which is great. Um, but yeah, he looks identical to him, which actually was my favourite coat pattern. We did my favourite versus my least favourite horse coat pattern, and Robbie was my favourite. So the fact we have Leonard here, who's actually the best statted horse. So I don't think statted is a word, but it kind of is now. Wee! Here we go. Okay, come on. Come on, Lady Ranger. As fast as you can. Come on, Leonard. Come on, guys. Root Leonard. Can you guys give me a carrot for Leonard? A carrot is a like on the video. That'd be super. That's that thumbs up there, guys. By liking and giving the video a carrot, you actually really help the channel out that you would not believe. So if you guys can't be channel members, uh, it's a way of tipping, I guess. If you could give us a tip, that'd be wonderful. I'll give you a tip. Don't need yellow snow. Okay. Okay. So look. Okay. 43 seconds. Maybe that isn't. Maybe that isn't the fastest time I've ever had in my life. Okay. Well, it'll do for now. I'm late. Oh, it came eighth. Did you guys see that? Hey, that's fun. I'll never win anything. I was always the chubby kid at sports. So I was a bit, yeah, it wasn't great. Um, Like I was good at sports like netball and tennis and hockey and things with a ball. I was good at, but when it came to like speed stuff, like sprinting, Ah, oh, it's not good at this. Uh, okay, let's go back to stables. Let's go and discover the next three folds, shall we, guys? I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm really enjoying Rival Stars again. I needed a bit of a break from it, but thankfully, by playing like Swam and Wild Horse Islands, we've been able to. I've been able to get my mojo back. Right, Aria, what have we got? Next fall. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, please be level ten. Oh, level ten filly that looks just like Aria. Do we keep her? I mean, she had she has good stats. She has pretty good stats. We could we could spend like four million on 
her stats. I mean, we could totally do that. <gasps> okay, tell you what, let's... I'm going to do it. I'm going to care for fall. I'm going to call her not cali... cali call it, bleh, bleh, guys, help. Cauliflower cactus. I'm not going to call a horse that. Poor, poor, poor pony. Uh, I'm going to call this one... Um, I'm going to call this one Jazza. Actually, let's call it Emma, Emmy. Like that. Emmy after my channel member, my VIP channel member, your legends. Okay, I am going to care for this foal. I'm going to spend four million on it. Five million on it. Ouch. Five million pounds. He's come out of retirement and everything. So uh, let's not go pro. Let's go classic. Whoa. In terms of like a family, that's a good looking family, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You look at a family and you go, yeah, there's a good looking genes in that family. Uh, look at all the spots. I don't know why I haven't thought about breeding Aria with uh, Robbie, actually. But Emmy is a... At least she's not a custom creation, so that's great. Okay, let's age her up. Do you know what? She'd be really interested. Oh, I don't think I'd want to train it up, though. <gasps> it's grey this whole time. It's grey. Okay, well, she's got a stat bonus on there that's cost me a fortune. So we need to go do a lot of racing. I'm going to turn her out to pasture. Can you guys let me know in the comments section below whether you'd like a whole video on Emmy? If you do, we'll do it. And it will be like my new best mare or something like that. We will do it. There's new coat. There are new coat patterns apparently coming to Rival Stars Horse Racing. I don't know when. I saw it on Instagram somewhere. Unless I dreamt. Unless I dreamt it. Which is highly likely, to be fair. Um, so we'll see. Um, gaming live. We will be gaming live, guys. Obviously doing probably Wild Horse Islands again, because I love it. It is a very, very, very good game. I love it so much. Right, collect our quick payout. Ooh. 55,000. It's not a lot of money. But in real life, if I have 50,000 pounds, I'd be very happy. But, you know. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Fastles. We have Black Rose, Christy, and a spare stable. What? Okay, Leonard. Let's breed him. Oh, we need to breed with Fussy Popcorn. Hey. Wonderful. Black Rose and Christy. Okay, let's go straight to Christy first. This is my least coat pattern. Favorite coat pattern. Oh, I can't believe that this is the fall she's had. Oh, level 10 Colt. Ooh, are his stats better than his dad's? I can't, I can't spend the money on his stat bonus, can I? I mean, I can, but I don't have any money. I mean, I could. Looks like he's like drinking some milk. I'm just going to take a picture of him because he's so cute. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. Um, how much money do I have? Let's let's just care for fall for a minute while we come up with a plan for that because I, I don't really know what to do. What should I do, guys? I tell you what, I'll leave um. I will leave a link, um. To when we trained up, Leonard, and then you guys can tell me if we should do that with this one. I'm gonna call him Captain. Captain. I should probably come up with something more original. He's really nice. We'll leave him in there. If you guys just just comment below, should I work with Captain or not? Oh my gosh, he's such a nice colour. I love him. Okay, let's go to Black Rose next. Come on, Black Rose. Ooh, wow. He's pro This stallion is producing some seriously nice, seriously nice foals. I love that colour. I never breed the Tobianos. That's so crazy. Let's just care for foal for a second. I'm going to, well, I'll just call it Steel Limit for now. If you guys could jot down some names for this foal here, that would be really appreciated. Thank you. Let's take some pictures. Picture, picture, picture. Guys, I've got a fact to share with you all. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Since Christmas, I've just been hungry. <laughs> My body is so used to me eating like nearly 24-7. <laughs> I'm suddenly eating normally and it's like, whoa. Uh, let's take this. Let's just put the sire in. That's kind of cool. I do like this. This is such a great little photo thing. And I love the new photo too. Let's skip her to my... So this is kind of a glow up. Let's go for a glow up. Let's do it. See what she looks like. Wow, I sound so much like a trumpet. Steel limit. She's nice. I do prefer different shades, but hey, she's, yeah, she's really nice. Do we want two of the same? Let's have a look at their stats. That's very good stats. That's okay. Stats is really good. Okay, I don't know who's best there, to be honest, guys. 
like back to false stools. So fussy foghorn. Oh bless her. She hasn't. She's only got one fall. Well, we've got space for two falls here. So let's try Aria again. I'll just fill out the falls here, and then yeah. So we've got two stables there going. I'm just gonna go and do another race with Leonard because I feel like I need to redeem myself a little bit because we. It's me not doing very well and getting distracted and being a big donut so let's go let's go ourselves oh my goodness let's put a huge let's put a huge bet on that and just really go for it oh dear crazy okie dokie so 2800 meter that's quite a long race to be fair but we'll go there guys there's more swim coming next week i promise i just really need to finish making these stables it's painful guys it's painful uh, I also I'm gonna make my real life stables in Minecraft. It's gonna be great fun. Woo! Come on, Leonard! Leonard's like, no, I cannot possibly go. Leonard's doing all right, guys, but it is a long race, so I hope you guys have some snacks. What's your go-to snack, guys? I love crisps. It's terrible. I should not love crisps, but I do. Hey, I'm getting sort of shoved along by the one behind me there. Woo! No, we're not going to get stuck in here. We know how the game works. Toodaloo, everybody. Toodaloo. It's quite a small field. There's not a lot of horses on there, actually. There's a lot of Palominos. I mean, like, never breed Palominos anymore. Apart from that new Mega Stallion. But I'm quite happy with Leonard, so I don't know if we need any more Leonards. I don't know. I don't know if we do or not. We shall see. We've got two more falls yet to go, though, guys, which is so exciting. But I must redeem ourselves with Leonard here. Because Leonard is the best racehorse I've ever had in my life. Um, I spent four and a half million pounds, I believe, giving him a stat bonus. So, you know, level 10. Good stats originally. And then with a stat bonus on top of that, it's nothing that to sniff your nose at, is it? Is that, is that the correct saying? Sniff your nose at? I have no idea. Real life stuff is coming soon to the channel, guys. I just need to sort my life out a little bit. So it's Lady Ranger Vlogs. I have big news and I have some scary news and very exciting news and all that kind of stuff. I do want to share with you guys everything we're doing. I'm very honest. Uh, I'm probably a little bit too open sometimes as well. I'm not a very closed book me. I'm just like, I tell everybody my life story. It's not great. Uh, but yes, horses, cobs. I have some heavy drafts. I have like heavy draft horses. I have Clydesdale crosses, Shire crosses, all sorts um, coming to to my life and they all find new homes and it's amazing so i've accidentally sort of become a not a horse dealer but kind of a well yeah accidentally become a horse dealer but the dream is to get these baby cobs and these horses these drafts all their forever families you know if they ever need me i'm there for them but it's it's been a blast we've done five horses this month they found all their perfect homes but it has been very sad and i will share with you guys why um yeah i got my heart broken a bit so I'll I will discuss and show you guys that. If we hit, we we won, woohoo! Of course we won. It's Leonard. I keep getting pictures of this. I shouldn't really, but so oh, here we go. Here we go. This is good. I was gonna say something, and now it's gone completely out of my head. I'm very scatty today, like a new level of scatty, which is good. Guys, that's. I believe after these two falls, that's it for today. But if I could ask you guys a massive favor, could you just check to see if you are subscribed or not? Sometimes YouTube will sort of kick you off the subscription. I don't know why it does it, but it does. So just check for me. If we hit, that's what I was gonna say. 40,000 subscribers. If we hit that, I'm gonna do a live Q and A for you all. I think we're about a month, two months away from 40,000 subscribers. I did want to hit 40,000 by February, but I think I've been a bit ambitious. But if you guys can still help, maybe share the channel to your friends and, and all that kind of malarkey, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next fall. So it's six, five, four, three, two, one. Beep. <gasps> another we're getting cursed with the spots i mean i don't mind because i actually really like the coat pattern i love her she's so pretty we'll care for fall for a minute but if you guys can come up with a name for her that would be amazing okay let's go straight to our this is the last fall for today and then we're going to be doing a lot more 
Wild Horse Islands. We're going to be doing a lot more of everything. Um, but yeah, we've had a bit of a stint on Rival Stars. I think my mojo's come back, so that's great. Right, five, four, count with me. Three, two, one, left off. Let's go see the fall. <laughs> Not exactly the same. Not a gun. I mean, I am really chuffed. Really chuffed because I do love this coat pattern. But maybe we should try a random breeding session at some point and see what different colours we can get. I think that'd be fun. We haven't done that in ages. Thank you guys. I need an another name for this chappy too. So jot them down in the comment section below. Maybe I can name one of the foals after one of your pets. That'd be amazing. Look at this. Look at this curse of the spotted blanket. That's ridiculous. Thank you so much. You guys, oh, you're making my dream come true. I can't believe I can say like I'm a YouTuber. I love the gaming. I wish I'd done this 10 years ago, but hey, we're here now and I'm glad I've done it now. So guys, thank you for your support. Thank you everyone who watches the videos. And if you could give us a carrot, that'd be much appreciated. We do have, I think there's a lot of new horse games coming for 2023. So it's definitely worth being subscribed because I'm going to go find them. I'm going to play them and it's going to be great. Or it's going to be terrible. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it'll be terrible. I'm not sure. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. And have a awesome rest of your day. Let's say goodbye and give Leonard a big fat carrot. Well done, Leonard. No. He says, I have not done well. That was always a bit judgmental, that. You can click on the horse, you see, and it does a cool little action. Cute. Ah. Let's just see. Oh. Dotted Tobiana is his hidden gene which is actually this coat pattern here so that explains a lot there too bye guys have a wholesome rest of your day